Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gospels and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about Reese with the Spoon. What is behind the talent and beauty? Let's talk. Laura Janine Reese with the Spoon was born aka Reese with the Spoon on March 22nd, 1976 in Georgia, New Orleans, Louisiana, to John Draper Witherspoon, who served as a Lieutenant in the Army. He was also in a private practice as an otolaryngologist. Her mother, Mary Elizabeth Witherspoon, was a professor in nursing at a freaking Vanderbilt University, <laughs> okay? Witherspoon descendants also allegedly signed the Declaration of Independence, not proven and not verified, so who knows if it's true. So are you ready to hear Ritherspoon many accomplishments? Well, let's go. <laughs> Reese modeled for different various of florist shops. Reese also won many state fair talent shows. Reese also received high grades in school. Reese loved reading books. The bookstore is her favorite place. Reese has been described as a multi-achiever and was given the name Little A-Type. Oh yes, Reese was a cheerleader. Reese majored in English literature at Stanford University. Her first casting call was in for The Man in the Moon. She auditioned for the small part, thinking she was going to get that. But she got the lead role of Danny Trent. After that, she was on fire, and the grayish and blue-eyed blonde was what Hollywood wanted. She won many awards and was involved in many causes, and so on and so forth with her many career endeavors. Let's get scandalous and personal. Reese met and married Ryan Phillip, June 1999. And yes, they got married because she was pregnant. And they had to get married to salvage their reputations at this time. They had another kid during the marriage and was divorced a few years later. Not surprised. But it gets deeper. You see, it has been leaked that Ryan Felipe, I think that is pronounced his name, was very abusive. Reese had to cover up a lot of bruises because of him in the early parts of her career. Take a look. What's the most difficult decision you've had to make to fulfill your destiny? Uh, for me, probably leaving an abusive relationship. For me, it was uh, realizing that I was not going to be friends with everybody along the path of achieving what I wanted. That, that I would have to, it's not that profound, but that I would make enemies, make people that would not be my friends and being okay with that. Okay, I have to follow up to leaving an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. What was the decision? There's a moment, was it physically, verbally, ver verbally both? Uh, psychological, verbal, okay. Okay. Um, and a, yeah. Okay, yeah. and at what, what moment? Was it several instances or yes. at some moment you decided uh, it's something so a line got drawn in the sand and it got crossed and my brain just switched and I knew it was going to be very difficult but I just couldn't go any further um, but it was profound and I was young really mm -hmm. young and that made all the I difference. could never be the person I am today I, I was a different person too it yeah. changed who I was on a cellular level the fact that I stood up for myself the fact that I, and it, none of the, leaving those situations is easy because it's wrought with self-doubt, particularly if someone damages your self-esteem, yeah. which is, yeah. I mean, you, people say to me, they knew me then, they're like, you're a complete, I didn't have self-esteem, I, it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm a different person now, and it's part of the reason I can stand up and say, yes, I'm ambitious, and yes, because someone tried to take that from me. And before. it's also part <laughs> of the reason why you want to, or a part of your drive is telling the complexity of those stories for other women. It was incredible when we did Big Little Lies, how we would sit around all the women and talk about each one of us had very specific experiences. They weren't, there was a range of experiences, but there wasn't a woman there that hadn't been affected by abuse. Not one wow. of those women. And it's why we decided to make this show. Yeah. And, and I, I, and I, I I'm hard pressed to find any group of women where you can't say, it happened, to me, it happened to my sister, it happened to my mom, yeah. I saw this, or, mm -hmm. and there's a range of abuse, you know, right. there's, there's verbal, there's psychological, there's, there's so many things other than physical yeah. that can be completely detrimental to your self-worth, your self-esteem, and your progress. And you know what, it's all the same, because I remember holding as a standard for myself, having grown up watching um, a cousin of mine who was like my mother's sister, and we, I grew up in the house with her. 
older cousin and her boyfriend used to abuse her. So that was my standard. I will never physically abuse her. And as a kid, I was like 10 years old, saw him knock her down the stairs. So my thing was, I'll never let somebody hit me. I'll never let somebody yeah. hit me. Mm -hmm. So I lived in that superior, better than thou space of, as long as he doesn't hit me, well, he can say anything, mm -hmm. he can do anything, but as long as he doesn't hit me. And one day in my 20s, guy was leaving, the person who wouldn't hit me slammed the door in my hand and I fell. And I saw myself in the mirror and I realized I had become that woman who would allow myself to be psychologically, verbally mm -hmm. assaulted and uh, that there was no difference between that and being actual. Oh yes, it was her first husband. Later, Reese revealed that she was sexually harassed, assaulted by a director and more when she was around 16 years old in her teenage years and pretty much throughout her entire career. Oh, yes. It was also leaked that Witherspoon is a very hard worker. She loves to work really, really hard and that surprise. It was leaked that she got into a showdown backstage following a panel for their HBO Big Little Lies with Kitman and said during the panel that there's currently no plan for a third season of the show and according to the magazine Ritherspoon angrily confronted the actress afterward and accused her of trying to sabotage the future of the series oh yes Reese was also rumored trying to take Ellen DeGeneres by launching her own talk show the magazine further alleged that DeGeneres, DeGeneres was furious and planned to retaliate it turned out that Ritherspoon wasn't a real talk show and it was simply a nine-part direct TV series featuring interviews with female trailblazers. Oh, and to later redeem herself, it appears that she, aka PR stunt, she went to DeGeneres' 60th birthday party. Oh, I'm not done yet. She was also accused of feuding with, guess what? Mm-hmm. Reese was accused of feuding with Meryl Streep. Yes, the Monte winner of whatever anyway during the second season of big little lies the outlet alleged brother spoon was really unfriendly towards the multi winning oscar winner and tried to act like she was the bigger star the story was based on claims from an anonymous source then it's the event that happened with beyonce take a look so she and jennifer who are probably buzz at this point are chilling at the golden globes who were perhaps jealous at the fact that Beyonce and Jay-Z are now attending these types of award ceremonies. And Reese, who was known, and I can't say it enough, to be very territorial. Heck, it was even reported that she was fighting with Ellen DeGeneres. People thought they were playing, but they were not playing over Jennifer Aniston's friendship. Oh yes, anyway, so she probably wobbled over at the king and queen of Hollywood, literally, table, and was like, hey, I ran out of champagne. Can I have some of yours? When she could have just asked the waiter to give them more. So B and J, who were very much aware of her shadiness, decided to provide her with some champagne. And then on top of that, they mailed her some of their known ace champagne. And they weren't done yet. Beyonce decided to make up out of her and a living walking advertisement of her, you know, Ivy Park collection. And sent her some I have to admit, that was boss. I mean, how dare you, Reese with a spoon? Beyonce worked her tail off just like you did, and she can act. I mean, that movie she was in with Idris Elba, her acting made the movie. It got underrated, but I think she did great in that. You see, Reese grew up privileged. And also note she is borderline racist. She can't help it. It's how she is. She's one of those white people who tolerate a black person don't really like black people but she tolerate black people but as far as it goes you know that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts below on that note don't forget to subscribe like and share and hit that bell so you get notifications for when i do post more videos love you all thank you for supporting my platform oh if you want to donate to anything if you don't want to support my patreon you just want to give a big donation i really appreciate it just go ahead and click my paypal or venmo it doesn't matter i, I really appreciate your contributions love you all bye